Okay, today we're going to have a look at proof of delivery using SkyMobile, extending SAP proof of delivery processes out into the field without the use of middleware. Today we're going to be looking at a Microsoft-based application deployed traditionally on a Motorola uh, smartphone device, generally ruggedized in the use of a truck driver or, or some form of logistics processing. So in order to kick off, let me start the application. SkyMobile launched and what we're seeing here is the login application where the driver is able to enter his details to sign in. Once we're logged in, we're presented with the main menu for the proof of delivery application. Now this template application is running offline uh, without a connection to SAP. So everything that we're going to see in the demonstration is running with its own database and can run in both a connected or disconnected mode. The synchronization back to SAP will happen automatically in background when a connection is maintained. Now before we begin, let's go in and have a look at the delivery processing. So by clicking on the delivery button, what I can see here is my shipment. Now in SAP terms, this may be a loading group or it may be a shipment, but it's, it's designed to group together the deliveries from the SAP system. So these have been allocated to me based on the master data in the SAP environment. So as a driver, I've been allocated this run, the Eastern run number 002. So in order to go in, the status you can see there is red, meaning I haven't started it. So let me go in. I click on the hyperlink and now I can see that I have two deliveries which I need to make. Uh, two separate customers, two separate addresses, but you can see they are actually near each other. So let me process the first delivery by again clicking on the link. The status indicator again being red, indicating that I haven't done it. I select the delivery, these are the items that I need to click. Again, this has come straight from the SAP delivery. In order to do the proof of delivery process, I select it. Here I can see the material, the material description. If we had any batch management information, that would be here. The quantity, I record what I actually dropped off. You can see here the input aid makes entering data much easier for the driver. And I simply save. There, the actual POD quantity has been updated which is opposed to the delivery quantity coming from SAP. Now this very simple scenario, I've only got one item, so I'm happy with that. Now I want to complete it. Now in completing the delivery, this is where I get taken into some additional functions that are associated with proof of delivery. So the date and time the delivery was made, I'm asked to confirm that's correct. I'm asked to enter the details of who I am, or perhaps who I dropped it off to, and I would also get their signature. And the signature is what we will capture and store back in SAP as a binary file, giving us the, the absolute certainty of the proof of delivery process. At this point, we would all also expect to integrate with a printer. Uh, if you deployed a printer out into the field, we would actually print your proof of delivery documentation for the customer together with their signature to give them the level of comfort that, yes, everything is appropriate. So having completed the, the delivery, now I'm taking back to my delivery list. I can see the completed delivery has been removed. I'm now ready to repeat the process. If I go back, now I can see the shipment has changed. It's yellow indicating it's in process. Um, as you can imagine, being proof of delivery, this is fairly repetitive. Um, it can be tailored to your individual business process, so whether you're using shipments, loading groups, whatever, or even just individual deliveries, these can all be pushed out to the field, running standalone so the drivers can capture the information, eliminating the paperwork and eliminating the rekeying when he gets back. Um, other functions where this can be extended is to cater for returns. So if your drivers are collecting information or collecting product to bring back into the warehouse, that can also be uh, entered into the mobile device. Um, so at this point, what we're going to do is, is finish on the mobile device and we're going to jump into SAP and have a look how the interface has been processed and what we've done with the proof of delivery document and the binary signature. Okay, now I'm in SAP and I want to have a look how that interface has been processed in my SAP system. As you would know with mobility, the interfacing is one of the most important pieces of the overall solution. Without adequate interface management and end-to-end -end transaction management, you will never know if your interfaces are being processed successfully back in your SAP system. With SkyMobile, all of that is managed without middleware as the interface tools are here in SAP. So let me go in to our interface management console, which is delivered as part of the SkyMobile solution. 
So what I'm seeing here is a selection screen that enables me to choose which interfaces I want to see. I don't want to see every interface in my system, I just want to see the interfaces for my proof of delivery application. So I execute the report and what you can see here is a management dashboard that gives me some visibility as to what interfaces are management, how many have been successful, how many have failed. Um, I can see three different interfaces in this situation where we've got um, extracts of deliveries, so deliveries that have been released, ready for drivers, they've been pushed out to the mobile device. Um, we've got transactions that are coming in and, and, and a broker that's looking after those transactions and then we've got our delivery updates. So if I double click on my delivery updates I can see that in the date range that I've selected, uh, being yesterday and today, I've got two deliveries have been updated uh, with delivery number 8 uh, with 40369 being the one that I just recorded. So I know that's been successful, it's green. If it was red, I would know the update in SAP failed, um, I would have received a notification or an alert, um, it may have even tried to reprocess. Um, this, all of this information is managed here within the interface management framework. Um, this is a very, very extensive tool that enables a variety of different interface mechanisms, uh, different types of transaction, all to be monitored from a common framework here within SAP, hence why we're doing this without middleware. Okay, in order to display the delivery update, I'm going to go into the SAP transaction. BLPOD. I can see here this is the delivery that we recorded out on the mobile device that we've seen the interface come in. If I enter that, now I can see the delivery number, the customer details, I can see the actual proof of delivery quantity has been updated, uh, the date and time which the proof of delivery took place has been updated. So that's all according to standard SAP business process. And as further evidence, what I can see here in the attachment list, if I display that, what I can actually see now is the signature that's been recorded out in the field. And if I display that signature, what you have now is a binary, a binary file that is an exact replica or is the exact signature that was recorded out on the mobile device. All now sitting in SAP, ready for your SAP governance and audit trails to take effect. Whether you want to archive that, whether you want to post it to a, a document management system, Again, all done here from within SAP, making use of your existing infrastructure without middleware and without having to replicate SAP processes out into some third-party system.